morning guys and welcome back to my channel. It's currently about 9 o'clock on Thursday, January 14th and I'm, I've just been working on some like templates and things like that. Um, nothing too exciting but I feel like that's my job is nothing. I don't have too much excitement going on in my job right now but uh, just it's just really busy and hectic but I do have two meetings today um, one is at 10 30 and one is at one o'clock the first one is just I am helping train somebody uh, on one of our systems and the other one is I'm sorry if you can hear that hammering construction is still going on so <laughs> this is my life for now but, and the second meeting is to discuss a way of pulling information more effectively and less, and um, that way I don't have to pull things into Excel and then clean up the data in Excel in order to use it in our visualization um, system, which is Tableau, in case anybody is curious. But yeah, that's the plan. For other than that, I'm going to be translating documents and validating data. The, I feel like, classic work for a data analyst. But yeah, that's basically my life right now. I figure I'd take you along for a couple of work days in my life. So if you're new, um, I hope you enjoy and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I mostly put out work content because when you're in a pandemic and can't leave your house, that's basically the most exciting part of my day. <laughs> yeah, let's get back to work. I'm probably going to make myself a second cup of coffee before that first meeting, so I'll take you along for whenever that happens. And I also, I already ate breakfast, so, but I might have a snack at the same time. Um, I made falafel yesterday and cut up vegetables, so we're going to have a salad falafel bowl. That's what we're having for, sorry, <laughs> that's what we're having for lunch today. So, let's go do this. Without a screen cutting through buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of road just to get where you are. Oh, I wish it wasn't so far. Thousands of dollars just to be near. Countless thoughts of you being here. Oh, I wish it was. 
Okay, so it's now a little after 3, it's like 3.15. Uh, but I really need to edit my video for tomorrow because I feel like I say this in every single video that I'm filming on either a Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday, like the day before my video goes up. I'm not really ever ahead of the editing game, so I need to edit my video so that I can go live tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the probably the next like hour and then Steven and I are going to go for a walk, hopefully. And then it's dinner time. So we're going to watch an episode of The Office too because I listened to an episode of The Office Ladies at work today, but yeah, work went well today. The meeting in the afternoon went well. It was more like of a discussion type thing, so. And I mostly, for the rest of the day, was just working on boring data validation, so. Hard, but maybe one day we can break the distance. So it's later, um, uh, we're not going to end up going for a walk, sorry, I need to go get scissors because my Sweet Breeds box came in, so I'm really excited to see what's inside for this month. They changed the boxes up, so, slightly. Ooh, it's, looks like it's Paris. Okay, so I just got my Sweet Breeds box in the mail, but my computer, my camera was just glitching out, so um, I already started opening it, but I'll show you what I've opened so far. So the first thing is this Covet uh, hot chocolate mix, and it looks, sounds really good. I, It's nice that they switch out the type of beverage they include each box. So the first one I got was chai tea, last month was coffee, and this month it's hot chocolate. And then I also got a sheet mask in it, so, and I think it's funny that it's called I Don't Want to Grow Up, but this one isn't a Canadian brand, but this one is a Canadian brand. And then I just finished opening this one, and it's really cool, it's a, a reading journal, I've never seen anything like it. Basically, you put in the title and all the stuff about your, the rating of the book that you just read, and then you can put in notes and stuff about the, the book, and I think that's so cool. I'm really excited to use this a few times. I usually just use uh, Goodreads, but then there is a Paris, Paris themed um, tissues. <laughs> it's They're like just Kleenexes, it's really weird. Yeah, uh, it's a, a, I guess it's some sort of Paris themed box though because the, um, card is also of the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that so and then we've got this Paris box oh it's a mug ah oh, you know I get love a good mug oh this is so cute it's just like a little cat with the Eiffel Tower and in the window we got a window oh that's so cute by Paper Products Design, and it is not a Canadian brand, but um, it looks like a tote bag. I just a tote bag that says more self love on it. That's cute. Oh, it's by the Peace Collective. That's the same place we got our face masks, masks from that um, made the ones that say made in our home is Canada. They're a Toronto brand. I actually recognize this brand, so. That's cool, but I didn't know they made tote bags. It's Fudge. <laughs> Kawartha Lakes Company, so that's definitely Canadian. But it looks really good. It's chocolate and cherry, and yeah. Wow, I'm really excited to try that. And then last but not least, it's the book. So yeah, the book is Paris themed, it looks like. Oh, 
this month they didn't, the author didn't include um, a little note in here. So that's the first time that has happened. I liked when they include the author notes because it's just really cute. I feel like it's, um, it makes it more personalized, but it's the Chanel sisters. Oh, so it's about Coco Chanel. I'm guessing it's still a fiction book. Yeah, so it's a historical fiction book. All these have been historical fictions, I think, so far that I've gotten. Anyways, I'm excited to read this. Cool. I'm excited to use all these things. This is a pretty good box. Um, anyways, I we're going to cook dinner soon, so I will update you guys later. But, yeah, I'm really excited. To go and see them. Hop my feet, I know that it's crazy, but I Good morning guys, happy Friday. I guess I should say good afternoon because it's currently 1.30. Um, today has been a crazy day, so I haven't picked up the camera at all yet. Um, as soon as I logged on to work today, I had two emails being like, can you please get this done by Monday? So basically, to get done today, if I have to have it done by Monday, I just immediately started working. I really didn't even have time to think about anything else. So, so I haven't picked up the camera at all yet today. And so this today's going to be probably a shorter vlog. But I just wanted to say hi still because I was planning on vlogging today. I think I'll probably have a third cup of coffee today too. But after work, once I can just read. Um, yesterday after work, I did end up finishing Eleanor. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. And it's a really good book. It's not one of my favorites. I would probably give it like four stars because I just really liked the main character and like some of the characters in the book, but there's just some things that I felt were rushed and like didn't, I didn't really get answers on. So I didn't, it wasn't one of my favorites for sure, but I definitely think it's still worth the read. Uh, it's just, it's just really well, I don't know. I just really liked all the characters. So yeah. the next book I'm reading is The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes. I really have only read like one chapter so I can't tell you much about it but I have it's like this is about like celebrity this girl band and one of the girl members members of the girl band was uh found dead so and they think it's a suspected suicide so it's going to go through like in fiction editing, like all of the ups and downs of like Hollywood, I assume. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what it's gonna be about, but I, I honestly am only one chapter and I have no idea. But I do need to continue doing work because I am not finished the stuff. I finished one of the projects that needs to be done by Monday, but I only, I still have another one and I'm about halfway through it. I just not quite sure how to do the second half. And unfortunately, a lot of my work, I don't really have anybody I can ask how to do things for because a lot of the people who did my job and stuff before me don't work on the team anymore. Uh, so I got just passed on a lot of things when I first started this job. So there's not anyone I can really ask questions to. I sort of just have to play around with it and figure out how they how it was done in the past and then <laughs> and then recreate it for this year. So that's what I'm currently doing. I'm pulling the data and playing around with it, trying to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do with it. And obviously 2020 is a weird year as well because we're all working from home so it would have been hard to ask questions anyways but I'm so happy that's almost Friday this weekend I really need to work on writing a new resume and um, answering the questions as part of that the application for that I talked about last week and that's my main objective this weekend I don't think I'm going to be vlogging too much I also want to do a big clean because I've really been slacking on cleaning this week I just have felt really 
um, overwhelmed during the day, so I've been taking the nights to relax a lot more, which has really helped my mental and like I feel so much less run down this week because of I've been taking that time. So it's really not a big deal to me if I have to take a couple of hours on the weekend to clean instead of doing it throughout the week. I guess we'll find out if I end up vlogging or not, if I end up doing that, but let's get back to work and hopefully I can get everything done by the end of the day. Saturdays back in 05 Flip tops with the socks high My dad was driving me down to the diamond Backseat and I thought I Was gonna make it big time Maybe it's crazy to think we're the same kid It's just circles in my head.